Hey guys, it's Ali, and I'm here with my review of the new Warner Brothers animation film, um, Teen Titans The Judas Contract. Um, if you're not familiar with the story, The Judas Contract, I wasn't. I've never read the comics. I've never really read any Teen Titans comics. It's basically um, about the Teen Titans and betrayal, and um, it kind of explores that, you know, Judas being the um, disciple that betray, um, betrayed Jesus in the Christian story, if you know it. Um, so, yeah, let's just talk about it. Um, it was really good. My overall thoughts is that it was really great. I did enjoy it. In my opinion, Warner Brothers animation for the DC comics has um, all been pretty good. I've never you know, not, I've never watched one and been like, that was awful. Um, so on their animating scale, they, I've, they've killed it. And they also seem to like to set up, um, blockbuster films and, um, characters that they want to bring to the, the big screen in the DCEU through their animation, kind of testing it, just like they did with Arkham Asylum, you know, the whole Suicide Squad thing, they were kind of testing it out. I believe that one came out in 2014. And then, guess what? Suicide Squad, the movie, came out. So let's just talk about the characters real quick, the Titans. Um, so I'm, I'm not doing spoilers in this review, I'll do spoilers in a separate review. But um, we had Robin, Blue Beetle, Raven, Nightwing, Terra, uh, Beast Boy, and Starfire. And so... I thought all these um, put together were really great. They all had great powers and skill sets. Um, Nightwing was kind of the leader, but also Corey Starfire was the leader that was kind of addressed as the leader because Nightwing had been off doing some other things, you know, being his own hero and whatnot, being his own vigilante. Um, and they all did really great. The voice acting was really good for it. And I'll get to that later. But, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I was actually surprised by Damian Wayne's character. I came out loving him the most. Nightwing probably the second. And then Tara the third because she was great in this. Christina Ritchie voiced her and she did a phenomenal job. And they did the Starfire Nightwing um, classic romance and whatnot. And it was very innocent and cute, but also, you know, um, kind of mature and, and filled with innuendos and whatnot. But it was really cool to see that play out in the animation and whatnot. And then um, the main villain, his name was Brother Blood and was like a church type thing. So they kind of had a lot of religious overtones that they put in the movie and undertones and whatnot. As you know, the title was The Judas Contract. So the religious stuff was already there. But um, yeah, so he was kind of the main villain. I kind of thought he was okay at the beginning. And then as he went through, as the movie um, went through, he declined for me. The best villain throughout the film was Deathstroke. He's given the contract to get the Titans to the Brother Blood guy because he wants all their powers and he wants to become a god. He's basically like Lucifer. He wants to be god. And so, but Deathstroke, oh, I, I loved Deathstroke in this. There was one scene that, um, kind of confused me and I won't talk about it because um, I'll talk about it in my spoilers review because I don't want to give any spoilers away. There was one scene that's, that you know kind of spoiled him for me but he really redeemed himself later on. His fighting sequence were so epic and I'll also talk about that later. Um, and the next thing I want to talk about is more on the production stuff. The voice acting for this was spectacular and I just want to say um, Miguel Ferrer who did Deathstroke you know rest in peace to him he did pass away and this was his last work that he did um, as Deathstroke as that Slade Wilson character and he did a phenomenal job so rest in peace um, to Miguel Ferrer and I just I loved the script. The script was great and it had a lot of great one-liners and a lot of them I was like laughing and also like really contemplating like wow that was great you know so it was really cool and um, my overall thoughts was that this movie really worked and in my opinion it could work as a live action film. I heard somebody suggest that maybe they should do a live action TV show like on the CW or something which could work. My only thing is that the budget would probably make this really hard to do because the power sets are so different and whatnot. So I think that could be potentially difficult. But if they did a live action TV show, it it would definitely be popular. Um, but yeah, I think this is really also um, hyping up the character of Nightwing, who will be getting his own movie that we know of, directed by Chris McKay, the director of Bat 
the Lego Batman movie. So I'm really excited for that. This hyped it up for me. He did such a good job in this film. Um, the whole film did a good job of just letting you know who Nightwing is and also um, showing why he should be his own vigilante because he's got like detective skills and also great fighting skills. So overall, I love this movie. I would definitely suggest that you watch it and um, give it a shot. So yeah, um, I would probably give this movie um, an A. Yeah, I'd give it an A. <laughs> but anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. I'll have my spoiler up review up soon. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out the mystery product in the link in the description below. Catch you guys next time. Bye!